Hey guys, so today we're gonna see how to configure a Truffle to deploy smart contracts to the Binance Smart Chain network. And we're gonna use the just deploy a contract to the Binance Chain and um, the Binance Smart Chain testnet. Um, a lot of people use Truffle, but Truffle mostly comes configured directly for Ethereum. But since Binance Smart Chain is also another network that is EVM compatible, then Truffle can deploy your smart contracts there directly. So here we have a folder. I'm just going to start. Um, just quickly, you need a project there. Um, then run Truffle in it. Okay. Spelled that wrong. Okay, so truffle in it. All right. So we're gonna have um, just this migrations contract. So very quickly, I'm just gonna go look for a dummy contract that we're gonna use. But here's our truffle config here, yeah, and then we're just gonna go ahead to to deploy maybe a sample contract using the truffle config so I'll go get a sample contract and I'll be back alright so here's a simple contract just um, an ERC20 contract um, which well still work on will still work on a Binance Smart Chain so I'm just using the open Zeppelin library so I'll quickly run and just um, you know install that so while that is installing um, there's another library I also like to install so you can just go ahead to create a wallet um, using your MetaMask connected to your Binance Smart Chain and then we'll need the private key of the wallet and the RPC. So I'm just going to go ahead to install the library for the wallet. That's um, Truffle HD Wallet Provider. So I'm just going to quickly install that. Missed, missed that. Okay, so now that that's been installed, I'm gonna go ahead to go to my truffle config, and um, you can see here already we have the truffle wallet provider, um, or of course you can use your infra key. Now since we are deploying to the Binance Smart Chain, the test nets we don't have the it's installed locally we could use the public testnet so that's why we need the AJ wallet provider so I'm just gonna comment this out and then create a provider based on that so now for the provider I'm just gonna go ahead to specify two, two parameters um, the first one is the private keys now this allows you to specify an array of um, private keys that you use for your accounts so you can then access them using indexes of 0, 1, etc. so you can just come here and put different private keys and just separate them by space so I'm just going to go ahead copy my private key okay so now that we have a private key we also need um, the provider URL And that would just be a 
string, an RPC string, which you can get from Binance Smart Chain. So you can get that from the Binance Smart Chain. So I'm just going to go ahead to look for that. Yeah, that's here. You can go to Smart Chain Developer RPC. HTML. We're looking for the testnet um, provider, so I'm just going to copy the first one. You can use any of the ROPC endpoints. And yeah, that's it. We have a provider set up now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and name this BSC provider. Yeah. Okay, so we have this appointed. Alright, so here you can see we have different networks set up under your config. So we go to the networks field and we're gonna have another network here. So we'll call this um, BSC testnet. Alright? And basically, to configure it to use the provider settings we specified up, all we have to do is pass it this function that returns our provider. So, yeah, we're good. Then, You also need to provide the network ID, uh, the chain ID, and um, for the BSC testnet, that's 97, so you provide that. And then, of course, you can go ahead to set other things like gas. Um, let's say this is fine, yeah, one more. And of course, gas price, you can go ahead and set that, but, so something, but I'm gonna leave that out, um, yeah. So network ID, VSA provider, you can leave out the gas and gas price, so it uses the default, but that's fine. Um, so go ahead to check out the, the compiler version, since I'm using open Zeppelin here. I'm gonna set this to 0 0.8. 0 0.0. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. Uh, truffle is all set up. All set up. So. I'm going to go ahead down here to run Truffle Compile just to make sure that there's no error in us in a smart contract. Okay, so there was an error. I'm going to quickly trace that. Cannot find module Truffle. Okay, so it seems that module was not installed. I'm going to try that again quickly. Okay. So now let's, let's try our compile again. Okay. Good. So now that that's compiled, let's go ahead to deploy our contract. So we're gonna, since we're using migration, so we're going to run Truffle Migrate. Reset so that the migration starts from the top. Now, network, we have to specify 
the network that we just added so I'm gonna check the name again okay so that's BSC test net okay so we just wait for that okay so that's been deployed you can see it here nice so a few things um, you can see it's the gas is denominated in X but don't worry about that just imagine that that's BNB and you can see it has deployed the bronze token and then of course the migrations um, smart contractor also and that's it that's how to deploy to the truffle to the binance smart chain network using truffle now a couple of things as a roundup um, first here if you're going to deploy to production you probably don't want your private key written here this is a disposable private key that i've put in here so you should have this in an in a in a private file maybe an env file or something and then just import this here so that you don't commit this to your git repository and then um secondly when you want to deploy it to, to to the live network all you need to do is go back to the binance smart chain um rpc site and get the url the rpc url for the live network and and switch this to that and that's it thanks for listening Hope to see your contract on the Binance Smart Chain testnet.